All right, this is Brother Aisha Yar coming at you with another lesson. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rekakwadash, <clears throat> Salakia. Double honors to the apostles of the great millstone, which I learned is true from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word to the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Aqua that's listening and learning. Uh, today, uh, the video is going to be entitled Spike Lee Will Get You Jakes Destroyed. Okay. And the reason why I'm naming it that is because uh, it's this new trailer that came out, I believe, like a week or so ago or a few days ago, something like that. And it's called American Skin. And pretty much the movie is supposed to come out next year. And the plot of the movie is, uh, of course, what we've been witnessing, witnessing pretty much all life, <laughs> you know, but it's definitely in the air stronger than ever before as far as Jake getting murdered by Esau in the streets, by the police, okay? And pretty much, you know, Spike Lee, he's known for making movies so people can relate to real-life issues, just like he did with Chicago. He made a movie about Chirac, and, you know, that's what uh, Spike Lee's uh, talent lies in, you know? He always make movies where people can relate to what's going on in their everyday lives and, and everything like that. And pretty much, this movie shows you how uh jake is getting into the spirit where he's getting tired of getting shot down in the streets and killed by the police and everything like that and he's getting ready to the point where he wants to make a move he wants to get he wants to be violent against esau he wants to be violent against these police out here and everything like that but as we all teach you and as we all tell you that's not the way to go okay the most I said, how about Shem Yahweh Shai said, your sword shall not save you. And we always say that you cannot be Esau within his prime, man, because his blessing is the sword. And he's in his prime right now. Why? Because first of all, we're at the end of days and he has the most advanced technology that we've ever seen ever. OK, he has drones, nuclear missiles. OK, as I always like to say, he got the men in black type weapons. <laughs> he got the men in black type weapons. He got every single type of thing that can destroy you. OK, and he's getting ready to use all of these instruments that he has built. He built it. OK, so before I continue to speak I'm gonna play this trailer so you can look at it and then we'll go straight into the scriptures. Officer. Can I see your driver's license, registration, and insurance, please? Of course. My license is right here, my wallet. That's all right, son. You remember that night in July? jury determined that no probable cause exists to file any charges against officer randall this is my son this is my little boy you took that from me the world took that from me today we make that right hear me when i say this because i'm only going to say it once don't stop it So, as you just witnessed, it's a movie coming out called American Skin. It's a Spike Lee joint. <laughs> it's 
So like it's a Spike Lee joint, you know, and uh, pretty much what they're showing you in the movie, okay, it's Jake taking things, taking matters into his own hands, okay? He's taking matters to his own hands because he's getting tired of just sitting around and saying and being the person that, like he said in the trailer, you know, how come we got to be the ones that just not do nothing? We got to be the ones that sit back and allow these things to happen. First of all, man, we deserve it, all right? We went off against the commandments, statutes, and laws of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, all right? We deserve everything that's been happening to us, plus more, actually, plus more, just for the simple fact that the laws were given to us, and we still uh, were disobedient toward our, our Father and our Lord, okay? We deserve to be in a way worse condition, but the Most High is merciful, he, you know? He allows certain things to happen to us, and he's going to continue to allow these things to happen to us until we get into the other side. But that's a whole nother lesson, all right? But at the end of the day, you know, that trailer pretty much, you know, when Jake looks at that, man, you know, tra uh, that trailer is dangerous. You know, you can say in the back of your mind, well, you don't know what the whole movie's going to be about. Maybe he won't actually, you know, do what the trailer is portraying that he's going to do. He might not actually kill those people and get retaliation and so forth and so on. But at the end of the day, man, what is the main purpose of bringing out a trailer? It's to hype you up for the actual scene. It's to hype you up for the actual movie, correct? So you're going to show the parts that's most exciting. And the thing is, man, because why? Because it connects you uh, uh, emotionally. It connects you, you know, spiritually as well on a stronger level, on a higher level. So that way, you know, when you look at the trailer, you could be excited and you could go support it. See what I'm saying? You can go support it. So at the end of the day, this trailer is presenting to you to be like, hey, there's going to be, you know, there's a black man out here who witnessed injustice and everything like that. And now he's doing something about it. All right. And that's the spirit that's in the air right now. The spirit that's in the air right now is Jake is getting tired of getting shot up in the streets. And now he's going out in the streets and he's trying to do something about it. And it's a report on RT on RT.com or Russia Today's YouTube channel. Where uh, Antiva is going head to head with the Proud Boys probably right now at this very moment. You know, the Proud Boys just burned up a Black Lives Matter banner. And then they say it was a big clash, I believe, in Wisconsin. I forget which city it was. But they say it's a big clash between Antifa and the Proud Boys. They said several people were stabbed. Okay, you see people laying on the ground and everything like that, you know. And that's the, and then there was another thing that um, brothers been posting up about this um, so-called Israelite family where they had a, a picture with these three daughters. And then I believe it's his son and maybe the father. Uh, you know, they all took a picture together with these T-shirts and it said Apocrypha written on it. And they have fringes at the bottom of their T-shirts and all of them are holding AK-47s, man. This is the spirit that's going now in the world of Jake, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. This is the spirit that's being out there, man, being pushed out there. That you're supposed to go out and do something about the injustice that you're receiving. But the Most High said to not do otherwise, man. The Most High said put your sword up. And we're going to prove that, man. You're not supposed to do anything. Let Esau do what he got to do, man. Let him do what he got to do. These, when He's in his last moments. He's going to continue to do whatever he needs to do in order for him to feel like he's going to have rulership for eternity. But, but that's not going to happen, man. Let him do what he got to do. He have a short time. So he's going to continue to do things that's going to be outrageous. But Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah will interfere at some point in time, man. And that time is very close. He's not going to allow Esau to continue to do his madness. All right. So this is Romans 8 and 5. It says, for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit of the, the but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit, Salakia. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Mm -hmm. Because the carnal mind is in many against the most high, for it is not subject to the law of the most high, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please the most high. So when you uh, go out there with your guns and everything like that. You come up with this so-called plan to shoot as many Edomites as possible or to uh, do whatever you feel like. You come up with this whole little blueprint of how you think you're going to get justice finally because of everything that's been happening to you. The Most High is looking at you as being carnal, man. 
You know, when we go out to the highways and the byways and everything like that, yeah, we tell Edomites they go into slavery. Yeah, we tell you two thirds that you're going to be destroyed. And we say it in, with boldness, you know, and everything like that because we're serious about the topic. But are we looking to, look to, to fight you? Are we looking to put hands on you? Are we looking to um gather up Edomites right now and be like, yeah, Lord, look, we got them shackled up, man. We have, I got the first fruits of slavery ready. <laughs> no, man, we we not doing that, man. We not doing that. You shouldn't be doing that either. You shouldn't be looking for no type of justice, man, because why? You're not in rulership. You can't do anything about it. You don't have no power. You don't have no type of power, man. You're not the ones in the judge seats. OK, and even if it is Jake's in the judge seats, those Jake's sold out. A lot of our people put our own people into um these prisons and everything like that, man, because they receive their certain amount of money. They receive a certain amount of power and their uh, pride, man. So they don't even care about their own people. You can't do anything in this world, man. The only thing you could do is just allow things to happen, man. OK, that's all you can do. Just wait on your how about shimmy how was shot, man. This is Romans 12. And 16, it says, be of the same mind one toward another, mind not high things, but consent to men of low estate, be not wise in your own conceits, recompense to no man evil for evil, provide things honest in the sight of all men, if it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men, dearly beloved, avenge not yourself, look at that man. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. See that? The Lord, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, is going to have vengeance upon Esau. Okay? He's going to be the one, they're going to be the one to bring the justice. Vengeance is his, man. He know what, what's going on right now. He's allowing it to happen. Okay? He knew what was going to going to be going down. He knew that we was going to be uh treated with injustice you know treated misfairly and everything like that man but hey it's all all according to prophecy it's all according to what's written and it's like i said it's going to continue to be like that but you got to wait on the lord the lord is going to use us which i'm gonna get later on the lord is going to use us to uh you know uh give vengeance have uh revenge against our enemies man avenge our enemies and everything like that but just not on this side you got to wait for the kingdom, man. You got to wait for the Lord to come back. Because like I said, that's the only way that this power structure, which is Esau's rulership, can be taken down and something different can come out of it. The Lord has to come back, man. Because once the Lord comes back, that's when the different rulership, the righteous rulership will begin. Right now, you can't do anything, man. You're not in power. You're not in power. The only thing you can do is just try to, you know, reason with the police officers or whatever, and then when you see all these other idiots out there going out to protest and, you know, fighting against the Proud Boys or what these Trump supporters or whatever the case may be, you're supposed to be at home, man. Be at home laughing at them and looking at them as idiots, man. You're not supposed to be a part of that, man. Just, just let them do what they got to do. You go home and mind your damn business, man. This is Matthew 10 and 15. It says, Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. All right. You got to be smart about what you do in this life and you got to be harmless, meaning, you know, you don't go out there and try to hurt people, man. You don't go out there and try to make your own story. You don't go out there and try to make an ending to your own story. You don't try to, you know, create your own path, man. Like the scriptures say, a man's goings is of the Lord, okay? The Most High is, uh, is is allowing you to do certain things. The Most High is allowing you to think the way you think, make the actions that you make and everything like that, man. He controls everything, okay? So you got to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. You're not being harmless as doves. You're going out there with these AK-47s, your pistols, your swords, your bats, your fists, Anything, anything that can cause uh, harm, anything that can put you in danger, man. If you go out there with these type of actions, man, you're going to die. Point blank, period, man. You're going to die. You're going to get locked up, man. Why? Because it's not for you to go out there and do these type of things, man. Okay? Let's get, um, let's stay in Matthew. Let's stay in Matthew. Let's get Matthew 26. Matthew 26 and 50. 
It says, And Yahweh Shah said unto him, Friend, wherefore art thou come? Then came they and laid hands on Yahweh Shai and took him. And behold, one of them which were with Yahweh Shai stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck a servant of the high priest and smote off his ear. Then said Yahweh Shai to him, Put up again thy sword into his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Thinkest thou that I cannot pray to my father, and he shall presently give me more than twelve legions of angels? <laughs> How then shall the scriptures be fulfilled that thus it must be? I like verse <laughs> so like I like verse 53 because you know I look at it in a Jake sense. You know, because that's how Jake likes to be now. You know, he got his crew with him, his gang and everything like that. If somebody roll up on him and threaten him, Jake would be like, Man, I got the whole block behind me right now, man. I could call them up right now. We could send this up, you know. Yeah, I wish I pretty much said the same thing. He's like, hey, man, do you know that I could call on 12 legions of angels to destroy this place right now? But Yahweh Shah was not in that mindset, though. Yahweh Shah was not about, you know what I'm saying, bringing violence against his enemy, man. He said, put your sword up because the sword will, uh, let me read it. For all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword, okay? He said, put your sword up, man. That's not going to do anything for you, Okay? He said, man, this allowed this to happen. Yahweh Shai knew what his lot was. He knew what had to happen after this. And he allowed it to happen, man. He allowed, the, he allowed, you know, the Romans and everything like that to crucify him, beat him, you know, to the point where he was unrecognizable and everything, man. He knew what needed to be done because this is Yahweh Shai's Yahweh Shai's will, okay? So you got to stay in the crib, man. Stay away from these protests, man. Stay away from these idiots that's trying to make a name for themselves because that's all it is, man. They be thinking like, okay, yeah, and they out here, they trying to make a difference so we can be safe out here. When will you, man, come on, man. It's because you got certain guns and everything. You believe that you're safe? You believe you can make a difference? No, man. Esau is way ahead of you, man. Like I said, Esau got things that you don't even know about. He got his weapons that you don't even know about. You won't be training like the military. You just a nigga from the hood or somebody that thinks that you have certain tactics and everything like that. And you think you're going to beat Esau in his own game. No, nah, man, you're going to lose. You're going to lose, man. This is Psalms 44 and 4. And it says, Thou art my king, O power, command deliverance for Jacob. Through thee we will push down our enemies. Through thy name we will tread them under that rise up against us. For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. But thou hast saved us from our enemies and hast put them to shame that hated us. Okay? Even King David knew. He was like, man, for I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me, man. Your sword will not save you. You going down with these AK-47s and posting up pictures and, you know, coming up with plans to gather up police officers and kill them or give them some type of uh, justice or uh, put fear in them as if you're going to make a difference and as if you're going to come out on top and everything is going to be all good for the future. No, nah, man, that's not going to happen, man. Your sword will not save you. Your sword is going to get you destroyed. The same gun that you had in your hand could be the same gun that gets you killed. The most I can allow that to happen, man. The most I can have you go out with your own gun, and you might be thinking you're doing a good job at the moment. Oh, man, you know, I'm going to shot down two or three Edomites or whatever the case may be. And then next thing you know, an Edomite might roll up behind you that you don't even know about knock you against your head, you drop your gun, he picks up the same gun that you were shooting, you were shooting when it killed you with your own gun. Then what you going to say then? What you going to say then? Nothing. You Because you're going to be in the spirit world, man. <laughs> you're going to be in the spirit world looking shame-faced, man. Because you want to go out there and, and try to fight back, man. Okay? The most I can allow these things to happen, man. The most I is the orchestrator. He allows everything that he wants to happen. Okay? This is Psalms 37. And seven it says, rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. For evil doers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. Okay? Wait patiently for the Lord. Wait for the Lord, man. He's going to give us our turn. He's going to give us our turn. And then as soon as we get our turn, it's going to be within righteousness. The Lord is going to give us the okay to um, get our, uh, to avenge our enemies, man. 
We're going to be in those new bodies. We're going to have spiritual power. Scripture said we're going to meditate terror. Just wait on that time, man. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be even more fun then. <laughs> It's going to be even more fun then because now you get to, man, you get to do whatever come to mind. And the most high is going to allow it. Why? Because it's written. It says that the Edomites the, and these heathen, man, they're going to receive double. They're going to receive double from what they did unto us. So you best believe we're going to be, man, we're going to be thinking of all kind of ways to, to uh, take Esau down to crush him on his uh, on a daily basis, man. That's It's written. He has to, a lot of blood is going to be shed, man, but not now. Just not now, man. Wait on the Lord, man. Okay? Cease from anger. Forsake wrath. When you're going out there with your guns and everything like that, you're angry. Why? Because you'd have seen your son get shot. You saw your daughter get shot. Your mother, you know, three-year-old, three-year-old babies, infants, you know, your close friend, whoever the case may be, man. You'd have seen people that's close to you, so it makes you angry because they're not getting any justice. You're seeing these police officers get... uh let off with no time in jail and everything like that and even if they do get locked up it's only for like a couple of months and then they get out and they get to go back to their big houses and their wives and everything like that as if nothing happened yeah this makes you angry but at the end of the day man you're supposed to forsake your anger forsake your wrath your wrath is you going out there trying to make a difference because that's all it is leading to you think you're just gonna go out there with your guns and just walk down the street and protest no, you got the guns in your hand because you plan on shooting somebody. You plan on killing somebody, man. So you got to stay away from these things, man. Stay away from that because, like I keep saying, it's, it, all it's going to do is just get you killed. Let's get Isaiah. Let's get, um, <clears throat> let me see. Let's get Isaiah 40 and 28. And it says, has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting power, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainted not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint and to them that have no might, he increase in strength. Even the youth mm -hmm. shall, yeah, so like it, even the youth shall faint and be weary and the young man shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not be faint. Now, I want to bring this scripture out just for the simple fact. This scripture right here is talking about when we get those new bodies and we'll be changed, meaning we're going to have those spiritual powers and we're going to have that uh, ability to uh, follow the laws perfectly because the laws will be written in our inward parts, all right? But it says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Now, like I said, if you wait upon the Lord and we wait for the other side, like I said, we're going to have these spiritual powers, right? We're going to have these spiritual powers, and then the Most High is going to give us the okay to go wild on these Edomites. And I want to connect this scripture with Ezekiel, because when think, look at it like this, man. We're going to have these new bodies, right? We ain't going to be we ain't going to be weary. We'll never be weary. We're going to have this new strength. We're going to meditate terror, right? And then as soon as you realize that you have these new bodies and everything like that, then this is what's going to happen on the other side. Ezekiel 25 and 12. Thus said the Lord power, because that Edom had dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance, had greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore said the Lord power, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it and will make it desolate from Teman. And they of the dawn shall fall by the sword. And I will lay, here it is, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. They shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance sent the Lord power. Okay. So he's going to, the most High is going to uh, have his vengeance laid upon Edom by the hand of who? The, his people, Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And we're going to do according to his anger. But that's on the other side, man. That's in the kingdom. There's nowhere in the scriptures where the most High said, pull out your guns right now and go shoot up Edomites because you're getting locked up injustice man <laughs> with injustice <laughs> there's nowhere in the scripture where it says do that man we just read that yahweh shah said put up the sword okay you're supposed to let all things happen man all right we already know a lot of us about to get you know put into prison and everything like that just for denying the rfid chip which is the mark of the beast a lot of us are about to go through that but are we about to sigh and cry and mourn or whatever because we got locked up and some of us might be beheaded or whatever are we gonna be like oh man this is this is wrong this is injustice no 
We're going to allow it to happen, just like Yahweh allowed his lot to happen, okay? We're going to be like, okay, this is what it is. It's that time. Let's go. We're going to get our chance on the other side, man. Right now, we ain't about that, okay? Going to end it with this scripture right here. Let's get Revelation 2 and 26. And it says, And he that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I have received of my father. And I will give him the morning star. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Okay? So we got to overcome these temptations, man. You got you to gotta be wise, man. You can't just be out here and saying that you're going to grab your guns and make a difference, man. Overcoming means you stuck with these words. You stuck with the words in the, in the Bible. You stuck with the words of how about Shimmy, I was shy, and you kept him until the end, man. You followed him. You followed the way that you were supposed to walk, okay? You followed those paths, man. You didn't do anything according to the way that you felt like was correct. You followed him. And what did uh, what did Yahweh Shai say if you do these things? He said, I will give you power over the nations, meaning we're going to rule over these heathen nations, man. We're going to be the, the top people, man. And we're going to rule them with the rod of iron. How do you rule people with the rod of iron? We put them into slavery, man. You put them in slavery. This is what's coming for these heathen nations, especially Esau, because of everything that we have been going through. Yes, it is wrong that Esau has been killing us like this and everything like that. And then, you know, we, we're we not receiving justice for it. Yeah, it's wrong. But yeah, he's going to continue to do that just so for the simple fact that he could keep adding to his sentence, so to speak. Okay, because the more and more wickedness he continue to do, then that's the more and more the most high is going to get angry. Then that's the more and more uh, the stronger the punishment is going to be on the other side, man. That's why I said he's going to receive double. So just let Esau do it, man. Just let Esau continue to do what he got to do. But at the end of the day, you stay away from these things, man. You walk circumspectly. Okay, be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. Let them go out and protest. Let them go out and shoot each other and get themselves killed and everything like that while you continue to live. Because that's what's going to happen. You're going to continue to live. You're going to gonna continue to live, man. Why? Because you're following, you're standing in the spirit. You're following the ways of Yahweh by Shimon Yahweh Shah. And you're listening to him. Okay? You're not making your own ways. Okay? So I hope this was edifying, man. Hey, stay away from these groups out here, man. They not doing nothing but bringing themselves to damnation. So with that, man, I'm saying call Halayim Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakai Kwadash. Double honest to the apostles of the great millstone, which I learned is true from. Honest to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word to the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Akwa that's listening and learning. And Yahweh Ratazah, I'll be back with another lesson. Keep pushing, Yasharala, keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom.